at some point, every person in their lives should have every corner of their body explored. Like there should be no dark areas in there anymore. Like even if you end up into middle of America, it's not like you know the entire America. You just are at the center. You need to go to the north, south, east, to the west, and to the southwest. You have to go through every single of these directions. People don't understand that you go to this continent, but you still need to do a lot of exploration to get it. Same way people do one exercise for the shoulder and they think now they've like explored the entire thing. So if people were to ask me, like, how have I gotten all these physical abilities and attributes and how have I built the body that I have now, all these movement abilities and everything. So I think many people would like, uh, like expect an answer to be like, well, I did this five different or 10 different exercises, X amount of reps and sets. I did them four times a week. I did them for this amount of time and just keep going and never give up. And that is how I got my results. And I know this is for many people, like they just expect there to be this very clear routine. And while there is truth to that, like I've followed certain routines, there's, it's a bit more complex also than that. Because there was a point in my training journey where I realized that this kind of approach is so overly simplistic and it does not really relate with the nature of the body, with the reality of the body, this kind of simplistic approach, just going through these sets and mechanically uh, repeating the same old exercises year after year. And actually what I came to realize is that at some point, every person in their life should have pretty much every corner of their body explored. Like there should be no sort of dark areas in there anymore. Like you should be very familiar with every single area and muscle in your body. And you can think of it in this way, like if you have a kind of a world map, you have this globe and you have the different continents there. You know, at some point people didn't even really know where the continents were, but at some point, you know, they did their explorations with the ships and they figured out like here's like America, South America, you have the Africa, you have the Southeast Asia, and this whole thing was going to start to be mapped out. But even so, you know, there were still these dark areas that no one really knew what was in there. If we go back like a few centuries, people had no idea like what was in the middle of Kong, uh, Congo like rainforest. So, and you have to understand that you can, even if you end up, you know, into middle of America, it's not like you know the entire America. You just are at the center. You need to go to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, and to the south uh, west. And you have, a go, you have to go through every single of these directions of the compass to explore that area. And now you start to really map out it. You start to see this country and this continent, like what, what is actually in there and how is, how is everything playing together. So you're mapping out these territories, unexplored territories. And the funny thing about this is that when I was a teenage, in my teenage years and even as a, as a kid, I was kind of admiring and had a very romantic view of this uh, early like 1900s or 1800s uh, explorers. I was really like, I was reading this book about people who explored the rainforest, the Nile River, the people who went where no one had ever not gone, gone before. And my life, you know, turned out interesting that I, I did start to travel myself all over the world. But the biggest exploration that I ever ended up doing was inside to the body, like within, within the body, like to the muscles, to the joints, to the performance of the body and to the health of the body. And in the very same manner that people map out these continents, I started to map out the body. I started to map out these different articulations, every single area, every possibility, because people don't understand. Like I mentioned, you go to this continent, you're in the middle of there, you still need to do a lot of exploration to get it. Same way people do one exercise for the shoulder and they think now they've like explored the entire thing, but you have so many different fibers, so many different possibilities of combinations of where to put it and train it there. And this, I think this is what me and Samuel have done for many, many years now. We've just been mapping out the body and its possibilities. Yeah, actually for, if I want to give like a timeline of everything mm -hmm. for us, it really started to change somewhere around 2015 when we were still living in Finland. And interestingly, after that, we started traveling. We actually traveled for three, four years in different parts of the world, mostly in Asia and the Oceania, 
like Australia and different Asian countries, but also in Europe. 